Okay, uh, let's get started. I've got my glass of wine. I thought it was about time to answer the question. I really do appreciate, uh, first let me say, I really do appreciate uh, viewers who bring up the ASI Air Plus. One of the concerns I had about this channel was that as a beginner I chose a certain path and the gear that I chose, the software I chose, it's kind of a, a limited perspective. So when people view my videos and they see I've encountered some problems and they suggest the ASR, uh, ASI Air Plus, um, I love that really uh, because it provides others who may be reading the comments, and I, I really encourage anyone who watches videos on YouTube to read the comments. There's a lot of golden nuggets and information in there. So, you know, <clears throat> part of why I wanted to do some interviews at the uh, Gold State Star Party was because I wanted to start to bring the perspective of different sets of equipment that people use and uh, share with my viewers through an interview style uh, with the owner of the gear, why they chose that, what level they were, <clears throat> what level they were at, and and why did they chose choose the gear that uh, that they uh, chose? So you know, keep suggesting the ASR ASI Air Plus that that you know uh, that does does not bother me. But I, I also don't want you to be offended because I'm, I'm not going to go down that path. Um, early on when I was doing my research, I became aware of the ASI Air Plus, but I also became aware that it was uh, vertically integrated with other ZWO products and that it was not, it was what I would call proprietary, it, it was not open. Uh, to uh, third-party products and I totally understand that and it makes a lot of sense uh, vertically integrated solutions often you know they provide a lot of benefit but they also can have some limitations and my philosophy which comes out of uh, what 20 plus years in the information technology arena is that I prefer open systems. Given an opportunity between a proprietary closed system and an open system, uh, just the way I'm geared is I lean towards that open system. I want to have as many options that I can have as technology, especially with the rate that technology often evolves at. So sometimes you know I, I don't want to be stuck with one vendor now I could probably be stuck with one vendor and be very happy uh, but I have this perception that open systems offer me the opportunity to optimize the pieces that I choose to bring into my solution so again uh, <clears throat> I just thought I would uh, share why I chose Nina. And early on, before I even bought the Xenostar 61, uh, I did know at the time that I was going to go with ASI cameras initially. I didn't know what I was going to do for my second scope. And uh, a year or two down the road, what technology would be out there that I might want to... Um, purchase uh, and integrate into my second scope. So I made the decision to go with Nina. Uh, and the issues that I'm having are not Nina specific. Um, I imaged last year just fine without any of the images that uh, any of the issues that I've encountered recently. But I've also introduced a new mount. I've introduced a new compute platform where maybe I was a little bit careless when I was uh, loading the drivers and and uh, 
porting over the various configurations. So maybe I made a, you know, made an error there. And then I've also introduced new filters, three nanometer filters. And uh, so there's some variables that I've changed since last year. Last year, Nina, you know, so it's really not Nina. Uh, I need to spend more time understanding EQ mod. There's prolific documentation. All I need to do is take the time and uh, dig into that documentation to better understand whether or not I've optimized the EQ mod uh, configuration. Um, so, again, I, I, I appreciate the content. I'd actually like to do an interview with someone. That was, again, one of the goals I was hoping to achieve at the Golden State Star Party, but it didn't come together because I really want to share with people that may be dropping into the channel other ideas on solutions that they could use to, uh, to get started with. Um, but I do think it's important uh, also when we're sharing those options with people that we share with them that there may be some limitations and that certain solutions may be proprietary and uh, not open to third-party devices. So I, I think any time we recommend uh, and talk about the ASI Air uh, products, we need to, uh, I think, qualify that it's basically uh, based around the ZWO products. Now, no issue with my ZWO EAF, best purchase I ever made at $199. My ASI 294mm uh, Pro monochrome camera, I love it. My ZWO ASI 533 MC Pro uh, one-shot color camera. Uh, I'm starting to love it. I need to use it more, but the limited uh, use that I've already uh, done with it, it you know, it's, I think it's a great camera. So it's nothing against the ZWO products, but I'm just not, uh, uh, philosophically, uh, I'm just an open systems person. You know, I was more Unix, Linux than Windows. You know, I, I think we just kind of get geared a certain way. And, uh, you know, clearly I'm biased to open systems. So I don't want to frustrate uh, those of you that are suggesting the ASI Air Plus. Uh, if I had an extra $300 laying around, I would purchase it and uh, use it so I could show people on the channel things you can do with the ASI Air uh, Plus product if you're all uh, ZWO in your configuration. Uh, CWO, if you happen to watch this and you want to send me one, I'll, I'll definitely make a couple of videos around it. Uh, be happy to do that. But my, my road is an open source one. It's uh, where I'm most comfortable. It's where I feel I have the most options or at least I perceive the most options when technology is evolving to bring third party different vendors into the solution to try to optimize my budget dollars and optimize the performance of the system uh, or the value I get from those various uh, manufacturers. So I just wanted to kind of share that uh, now that I'm sitting back relaxing. Uh, really pleased to how my trip turned out at uh, the Gold State Star Party. Um, these issues that I run into are actually fun for me. I spent many years troubleshooting. Um, I enjoy it. There's times when I wish I didn't have to troubleshoot, but on the whole, uh, there's something about troubleshooting that is enjoyable to me. And again, the whole found the whole purpose for this hobby. You know, I retired and I needed something to do. And uh, this kind of feels like work at time and it gives me a chance to try my troubleshooting uh, skills and my ability to do research. So while I may be frustrating the heck out of you because I haven't moved to an ASI Air Plus, uh, I apologize for that, but uh, I'm actually having fun doing what I'm doing. And uh, I feel I have a few uh, years ahead of me. Uh, things are coming together. They will come together. 
and I do see a solution, maybe uh, an 8-inch Edge HD or 925 uh, Edge HD, and I could see that configuration with maybe a Moonlight uh, focuser. Uh, maybe I try out QHY camera, you know, just for my own edification. And again, Nina will let me uh, add those items into my solution where the ASI error uh, would not. So why not learn Nina EQ mod and how to make that all work now? So down the road when I move into my next scope, um, I don't have to relearn anything because if I if I if I went with the ASI uh, Air Plus now. Uh, maybe yes, it would be a, an easy street, but when I move into my larger scope, in particular with some thoughts already on what I'd like to incorporate it in that solution from various vendors that are not ZWO, then I'd be on the learning curve all over again. So I'd rather spend the time now. I know where I need to spend my focus uh, at this moment based upon the trip uh, to the star party. And uh, I will, and that's part of the enjoyment for me. So uh, salute to all of you who have the ASI Air uh, or ASI Air Plus. Um, you know, as I said in, uh, in my video, it's a diverse community, a range of solutions that people uh, choose uh, to move forward with. But, uh, you know, congratulations on, uh, on your decisions. I'm glad that the solution is uh, working out for you. And, um, you know, I'm just going down a little bit different path. But, again, I, I do want to do some interviews with people and bring the uh, ASI Air Plus um, perspective into the channel. So if any of you want to uh, volunteer, we could do a Zoom call or... If you're in the western United States, uh, Oregon, California, Nevada, Utah, I'd be happy to travel out to your uh, location and we could do an interview there. Uh, because I really, uh, I, think it's, I think it would be of value to bring these different perspectives on the various solutions uh, uh, into the channel here. So, all right. Um, thanks again. Keep, Keep recommending it in the comments. That does not bother me whatsoever. Hopefully people that are viewing the comments are reading the comments and they become aware of the ASI Air uh, solution. Um, and uh, as I said, I saw several people using it at the star party. And uh, so I, I don't... I don't question the quality of their solution if you're an all ZWO uh, configuration. So, okay. So, I don't want to run you off the channel or discourage you, you know, uh, in, in any sense because I'm not moving in that direction. But again, if somebody wants to send me one, uh, I'll do a couple of videos with it. But that $300 or whatever for that solution, uh, you know, I'd rather put that uh, towards uh, my next scope um, and because uh, money is hard to come by especially when you're uh, living on fixed income so anyway all right so if you like this kind of content uh, please give it a thumbs up as always like share and subscribe um, your comments and questions are really what drives the channel I appreciate uh, your comments and questions they're just tremendously helpful to me, and hopefully other viewers take time to read the comments and uh, as well. Uh, other than that, I'm going to sit back. I'm here by myself. My wife's up in Mammoth with her girlfriends. I'll see her on the 5th. For right now, I'm just doing the bachelor uh, thing and uh, having a little bit of wine uh, to relax this evening. All right. Other than that, see you next time.